This is Afterthought Cake. It's a robot with no particular purpose. It is a push button to start or to activate a mode, a dial trim pot to set the mode. In this case, it's Explorer or um, various test modes that I've got programmed into it. A color LED down here, RGB color LED, and that tells you what mode it's in. So right now it's green, but if we adjust the dial, we can see it switch to blue, and then we can see it switch to red to tell you which test mode you're currently in. Go back to green for Explorer. It has a cube of PCBs on top with a left motor driver and a right motor driver, and these are bipolar motor drivers. The battery is tucked in to the PCB in back. So there's a little tiny lithium polymer battery stuck between these PCBs right here and connecting right into there. And it provides between three and a half and a little over four volts. There isn't a voltage regulator on the board, so the motors and the, the microcontroller and the drivers are all run off the same voltage. It has two rectangular escape motors down here that drive the wheels. Those motors are kind of unusual, and that's one of the reasons why this robot was put together just to experiment with those, those particular motors. At the bottom, it has an encoder, a little encoder wheel down here. The encoder wheel is one of the more interesting parts of this robot. As the robot is driving along, this wheel, it doesn't have any power on it. It just rotates as the robot moves. And the robot wants to know how far it's traveled because the battery is unregulated and, and as the battery wears down it may travel a shorter distance or a longer distance. So this encoder wheel, this free spinning encoder wheel, has holes in it and light shines through it. So here is an infrared emitter and here is an infrared detector and it's sending light through here and if the hole is present then the light can get through to the detector and if instead it's one of the blocked parts then light cannot get through. And the robot detects its movement, it detects how far it's traveled and as to whether it sees the light or not. And in this little demo example I've got the LED lighting up whenever it can see light and turning off when it can't. And this is how the robot judges how far it's traveled. The robot has a tripod design in that it rests on the two driving wheels and the encoder wheel. But it also has this, this green wire, this thick green solid wire down here. So that as it's driving, if it's driving forward it's fine, it's resting on the, the encoder wheel on back. But if it suddenly reverses, what would happen before is it would tip over. And so this wire, it normally rests above the ground. It's not normally rubbing on the ground. But if it suddenly reverses, it sort of rests on that and bounces back. A nice feature to include in robots that moves is, is a sort of a delayed start. In this particular case, if I press the push button, the LED will change from green to white and the robot's motors won't start moving. It'll, it'll wait a couple of seconds before it does so to give me time to move my hand away. This is used a lot in robot sumo where there's a five second start and things like that. Um, but in this particular case, I'll just demonstrate it by pressing the button. You can see the LED changed colors and now the motors are moving. I can press it again at any point to stop it. But I like the delayed start, uh, and it's a nice feature to have in any robot that moves so you don't get your arms caught, you don't have to feel like you have to move your hands away immediately. One of the issues with building a robot out of scrap parts is that you don't really have a design in mind, you don't really have a plan in mind, and it turns out this robot doesn't do very much other than demonstrate its capabilities. And the cause of that is that I ran out of pins on the microcontroller. So other than having the encoder sensor, there really wasn't much more this robot can, can do or determine. It doesn't have any line following sensors or obstacle sensors or anything like that. 
Uh, for this demo, what you're going to see is I'm going to push the push button and there's going to be a delayed start where the LED will turn white and the robot will drive forward, it'll drive backwards, and it will rotate around. You can learn more about Afterthought Cake Robot, including how it got its name, at robotroom.com.